Good morning. We're so excited today to have Lizzie Childress with us from Carson Newman University. Lizzie, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Carson Newman's really excited to be here. Great. Well, I know you're going to be out with the students over lunch, but I just wanted to ask you a few details that we can share with the students and the parents. First thing, can you just give us an overview, just a brief overview of Carson Newman, number of students, what kind of school you are? Yeah, so we are a private four-year um, Christian liberal arts school, university, um, and we are, have about 1,800 students that live on or near campus. Um, we do have a graduate program, so our total enrollment is about 2,500 students. Um, but the graduate program is mostly done online, so those students don't really live um, on campus. But yep, we have about 50 majors um, for our undergrad, 11 graduate majors, um, five associate degree programs. Um, so that sort of encompasses what we are and yeah. Do you have an affiliation with any religious group? Any denomination? Yeah, so we do. Um, we are religiously affiliated with the Baptist, specifically the Southern Baptist um, sort of, uh, I guess, when, like, what am I trying to say? A Southern Baptist within the Baptist organization. Okay. Can't think of the word <laughs> there, okay. but yeah. I understand. Where is Carson Newman University? So we're located in Jefferson City, Tennessee. It's about 45 minutes um, northeast of here, so not too far away. We get a ton of students from Knoxville. Um, so it's a good distance to sort of be away from home, but also um, not too far away if you ever want to go back. Yeah, that sounds like a great option for our students. So you mentioned the majors, the number of majors, graduate and undergraduate that you have. Can you tell me the most popular majors? Yes, so we have students come for everything in between, um, but mostly students ask me about and they come and study. Um, I would say nursing is a really large program, um, as well as biology pre-health professions. So that would be anything from pre-med to pre-PA um, to pre any sort of pre-health professions, honestly. Um, then we also have business, which is a large degree that, or it's a large program, but also a lot of students study that at Carson Newman. Um, education, I'm trying to think, um, communications. So those are sort of the hot button ones. Um, a lot of psychology um, students, specifically psychology with the criminology minor, so. Okay, great. Yeah. Now how about special things? Do you have any special labs or equipment or anything that are things that might be unique to Carson Newman. That set us apart. Yeah, so we do have, with our biology pre-health professions department, um, we do have a cadaver lab, which is really neat um, and special and sets us apart because a lot of larger schools have a cadaver lab, um, but not a ton of smaller schools. And so the neat thing about that is that our students, as they become juniors and seniors, get the opportunity to actually work on a cadaver um, as opposed to just like, getting to look at 200 people working on the cadaver or just kind of look in on it. Um, and we've had quite a good bit of feedback from students who are applying to med school um, or even PA school saying that it really set them apart when on their application they could write that they worked on the cadaver. Um, so I, I definitely like to sort of tell students who are interested in that pre-health professions, um, specifically going to med school or PA school, um, that that really does set them apart, that smaller class size and the cadaver lab. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How about scholarships? Do you have scholarships that are merit-based or need-based or a little of each? Yes. So we, um, of course, do FAFSA. So we take, um, and we take into consideration, obviously, all of the federal and state aid um, that might be applicable for that student. But then we also have um, merit-based scholarships. So that's going to look like um, very different depending on the student. And that's based on your ACT score and GPA. Mm -hmm. um, but we also have departmental scholarships and sort of club um, or other activities that you might be interested in scholarships. So I, I am going to have to read from my paper on this one just to kind of remember them. But um, we have the Bonner Scholarship, which is a nationally accredited scholarship. It's not just at Carson Newman, um, and it's for community service. So all of our Bonner scholars are um, community service based um, students, which means they do a certain amount of community service in our community um, per semester to keep that scholarship. Um, and then that kind of pairs with our Faith and Justice Scholarship. Um, and it's from the same 
uh, department, but just one has a faith-based approach and one is um, just that nationally accredited Bonner Scholarship mm -hmm. Program. Um, then we have Eagle, Eagles Engage, which we kind of dub the Carson Newman Tennessee Promise Scholarship um, because we do, it's the same amount of community service um, and a very similar scholarship amount that just kind of um, helps students get another boost for a scholarship. Um, we have athletic scholarships specifically. We have cheer and dance, bass fishing, um, forensics and debate, film, theater, art and photography, chemistry, math, um, and then we do have a legacy scholarship if you've had um, parents come to Carson Newman. So, yep, uh, tons more as well. It's just those are kind of the hot button ones that I always really speak to students about. And what division is Carson Newman for athletics? Yes, so we are a division two school and we compete in the SAC conference. Okay, so you can offer scholarships. Absolutely, mentioned. yes. Okay. What about other student life things you might want prospective students to know about? Sports, clubs, are there some that are more popular? Right, yeah. So I think just when considering prospective students who sort of are interested in Carson Newman, I really do say that um, our goal is to really plug them in to Carson Newman. We try really hard not to just have it be like, you get here and you're kind of like, now what? Um, mm -hmm. So we really try and plug them in with tons of like clubs and activities that we have. Um, we have a whole program dedicated to just planning things for students on Fridays for that first semester of college so that you have things to do mm -hmm. um, and you have people to be around you. Um, so in specific, we have tons of clubs. We do intramurals. Um, so that's a really competitive, neat thing. Um, which is, if you're not familiar, familiar with intramurals, it's just sports that are kind of like a club sport. So it's just competing against other Carson Newman students. Um, I'm trying to think. Just lots of different ways to sort of plug plug students in to make sure that they feel like they're not um, not alone and they have other people there that are um, in, interested in the same things that they are, honestly. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I heard that you have a new president. Can you tell me a little about that? Yes, so we have our 23rd president. Um, so he started this summer and we're really excited about him. His name is Dr. Charles Fowler. And he comes all the way from the Memphis area. Um, so he was a preacher and pastor at a church um, in the Memphis area for quite a few years. And so he just started this summer and we're really excited. Um, to see, he's been so great so far, and so we're really excited to see um, what what his leadership style, where that kind of takes us. Good. Yeah, sounds like you're on a path for more good things. Yeah, I think so. So it's great. Well, you've told us some great information. Can you just tell us what a student would need to do to apply? Yes. So our seniors that are interested in coming to Carson Newman um, just need to go to our website. We try and make it very user friendly when you log on to um, cn.edu. Um, so there's a giant application tab. And so you just click that and then you'll click the freshman tab um, and then you'll go ahead and create an account. But after that, our application is totally free to apply to come to Carson Newman. Um, and there's, we really do try to reach out to students. So like once you start your application, um, it alerts us and we do a, a pretty good job um, of just making sure to like engage students and making sure that we know who they are when they're applying, um, that we get a feel for what they're looking for in a school um, and really try to have a lot of conversations before they even apply of just like, okay, you know, how can I help you and make this so that you feel like you know what's going on in this process. Um, and then from that, after you submit your application, you'll just need to go to your guidance counselor and have them um, send us your ACT scores or SAT scores and then your transcript. Um, so yeah, that's how it kind of works. Um, About how long would you say it takes to finish the application from when you start it to when you can send it off? Yeah, so I would say probably it varies for students um, depending on different things, but I would say 20 to 25 minutes. Good. Um, it's a pretty quick application, um, specifically designed to be quick so that um, students really can just, you know, I mean, at this point, they probably know what to expect with an application, so it's nothing out of the, like, realm of what they're thinking about. Okay, I think that's so great, the way you make it really user-friendly. And you have a rolling admissions? We do, yes. So we have a rolling admissions deadline, meaning that at no particular time is application due. Um, we do always encourage students to go ahead and apply as soon as they can, just because it kind of helps us 
um, well, if they apply and then go ahead and file their FAFSA, that really just helps us be able to get back to them sooner with that award letter in the spring um, and kind of let them know how competitive Carson Newman can be for financial aid and scholarships. Um, and the other thing I'm just going to mo- oh, that's right. So ACT scores, um, a, a lot of students will sometimes ask me, um, so I like took the ACT again and I've already submitted or I'm about to submit my application. Should I wait until I get those back? And we always just say, give us what you have right now. Um, we'll keep taking new ACT scores um, to factor in to what your merit-based scholarship will be until December 1st. So at any certain time, if you're worried about um, if your ACT score is going to mess up where your merit-based scholarship may fall, just go ahead and submit what you have um, and then just resubmit when you get those new scores and we will factor that in um, and then review you again for admissions. Okay, well, there's one ACT coming up in October. Yes. Then there's another one in December. It's not on the 1st. Okay. Would you accept the December ACT score as part of consideration for the merit-based scholarship, do you think? Yes. Yeah, so um, I that's a great question. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not 100% certain how that works. Um, to my knowledge, we just set that cutoff date because it makes it a lot easier for an, our financial aid department to sort of get all those award letters together and then send okay. them out. Um, but I don't want to be fast and hard on that deadline because I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you really are interested in coming to Carson Newman and you sort of fall into this category, I would just say to reach out to somebody in the admissions department and just kind of see um, what that looks like when you get there. Um, we definitely don't want to make it so that... Um, you don't take it again or you don't submit those scores to us. Um, but I definitely am not 100% sure about that answer. Okay. Okay. Well, thank yeah. you so much for yeah. being with us today. I think Carson Newman is a great option for many of our students. And the fact that you made your application so easy and quick I think is a real benefit. Thank you. Absolutely. I'm really happy to be here. And I know Carson Newman's happy to be here <laughs> as you. well.